ba da ba 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 da da ba da 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 da. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Forsaken, it's 1229 on Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Forsaken welcome to... Ken. It makes me so happy to have a new friend on the island. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Hello, welcome to stream Games and Sora. The first thing I'm going to do, aside from grab this... Jesus, I forgot how much I got. And I'm going to check my turnip prices. For the sake of everyone. Because yesterday, they were balls to the walls. Awful! While I may not have turnip uh, uh, turnips, I can still help my fellow villagers. It's so sunny out, but it's raining in your town. Oh, hey, another one of those uh, record players. Oh my god, I just zoned out the suitcase ones. Hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Tommy, tell me. Lux, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? Turn up prices. Current price for terms is 91. <laughs> Yike. Hold on. Um. That's bad. That's real bad. I'll take that microwave though. Seems like you're interested in a microwave. Let's see, that's 3,000 pounds. Okay. Anyone want a lawn chair? Folding chair, whatever. That's cheap. I can drop it off for anyone. Am I gonna get the tapestry? Honestly, not. So if you want it, I'll buy it and hand it over. Curious about what's in the cabinet. Here's what we have today. Today. Alright. Um, nah. I have this one and this one. This one's not too great of color. Simple. Cute red flooring. I don't remember if I have this one, so I'll just buy it. It looks Dutch. Yeah, you can have it. Let's see how much it is. It seems you're interested in a tapestry. Let's see. That's 880. What do you think? show off the fact that I even had this campsite all set up with flowers cuz I I finally got it I finally got some designing going on and of course if anyone visits they have to have a toilet you know message why 
why are there chairs in front of it? In case anyone wants to point and laugh. Some folks may already know, but April 22nd is special. It's Phoebe's birthday. What a happy occasion. Oh! Neat. Yo, Sparky, what's the word? I think I left my camera case at my last place, Sparky. It's not like I used it much, but still. What the? Oh, you left everything at. Oh, hey! Even more importantly, hey! I forgot how funky his is. Flux, do you ever just feel like crying? Sure, you do. Everybody feels sad sometimes. When you feel like you need to cry, don't hold back. Use your actions just like this. Just like this. Look, I'm so sad. If you need to turn on the waterworks, and who doesn't? Uh, and who doesn't sometimes? Use sorrow and let it all out. Nice. I learned the sorrow reaction. I weep for tomorrow. Finally. Okay. Yeah, go join the workout club. Yes. Oh, workout birds and yoga, yoga cat. Oh! Everyone's getting in the mood. Oh, hey, Flux. You came at just the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you today. <coughs> Can I bend your ear for a bit? Sure, what's up? Please. Oh, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Yes! <coughs> Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island who can't wait for me to come up here peddling. So, I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on the island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook, and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left over from building this cranny, hmm? All that must be done now is to select an appropriate location, yes? Oh, and the perfect individual to help find that location would be Flux. Yes, hmm, yes? So I figured I'd just keep the, keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again, and that's now. Oh, jeez. I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry I'm pretty excited about all this. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So, how about it, Flux? Can you be our location scout? Sure thing. Seriously? Oh, you're a total lifesaver. Alright then, let me give you a tailor's instru instruction kit. Just set it up in whatever spot makes sense to you, and that's where we'll have our shop built. Physical crew. Physical crew. Where's Leonardo? He should be leading this. Shoot. Do I have an apple on me? I do. Cool, my fucking inventory is trash right now. I don't have a shovel. first. Let's get rid of the fish. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna buy a shovel from you guys. But I don't have time. Rather, I'm very lazy right now. Would you like a sled? Uh, uh, no, no. Today's Rocket's birthday. I've been with her all day. If she doesn't fucking leave tomorrow, I'm going to switch out the fucking window. Overreaction, but yeah, okay. Nice flimsy shovel. Am I right? 
Where is it? There it is. Fuck off. Yes. Let me imagine this. I might lose the tree for this, actually. Yeah. This is the spot. But I'm gonna get that other tree. Okay. No. Ugh. Eat. I need to eat them first. Doing a bit of renovating finally. After all this time. Big horror station. Save the trees. Wait, that would be blocking the apple tree. Fire. Man, dude, 
Dude, they don't care that there's just a B right there. Hey, you found a spot for the shop. Thanks so much, folks. Once we're all set up and everything, I hope you'll swing by and support my sister and me. Oh, hey, Flux. What's up? What's on sale? You got it. Here's what I'm selling today. Ooh! Sweater vest. And a black witch's hat. No dodo code. Games knock it off. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. You can always give your dodo code and maybe someone will stop by and hand you one. Striking shoes. It's not too bad. You like jazz? Okay. Uh, you can't edit a wand outfit while wearing a wand outfit. Why would that? Oh no. Why do I have the fish one? Change the color of the skirt. No, Turtle collection is growing on me. I just need one more so that they can have a four player smash. I don't know why I got stuck there. <coughs> I got distracted. That's so weird. Do I have better pants yet? No. I need pants, dude. Everything's lacking pants. Wait, is anything else lacking pants? Our shoes, I mean. Yeah, 
you got a shoe. If you got a shoe. You, like slip on loafers. Oops. Storage. What does in storage? Oh, actually, I have the perfect place for it. Uh, put this in storage. I'll hold on to that. That's for Sora. I need to put those on. Someone. KK lament. Cool. Oh, the villager shirt. And a froggy tee. Because it's cute. Forgot. I might change out one of these. Toga. Swap out Toga. Froggy T. Look at this goofball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's dumb. Or wait, would that have been better on the... That might have been better on the fishing outfit. Nah. What was like a fucking... Dope thing? Anyone have Dodo? No, no. No Dodo. <clears throat> so this is my uh study room I'm working on I need to get this, uh, I need to get like two side tables for these things to rest on. <coughs> I was kind of hoping that this was hangable on the wall. I didn't even check, actually. Oh! No, wait, no. It has that symbol. if that was hangable on the wall oh, I'd be all over it I don't know if there is any but if there's like a shelving unit that you can put up on the wall that you can put more stuff on I would put it up there Cough. I have mucus in my throat. It's gross. Um. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, 
old, old days and new beginnings. Oh, that's gross. That's clipping. Hang it over the fire. Yeah, I think I had stuff in storage I wanted to take out, like this. Uh, oh, I have two tea sets. Oops. And two of these. Okay, you know what, here, let's take these out. Two of these. <clears throat> Alrighty. What to take to upgrade this shovel? One iron nugget. Got it. Coming right up. Nice. <coughs> Is this a quick stream? Relatively. Because there's not too much to do. Plus, it'll allow me time to hopefully go over to Final Fantasy VII. <coughs> busy, busy man. I'm still suffering from PTSD of the frickin' Egg Day event. I'm like, oh boy, another egg. But then I'm like, oh fuck, wait, it's guaranteed to be a fossil nowadays. Bad time to start the game. Oh yeah, I have a fishing area set up now. Unfortunately, no longer with us. Did I even order the White House? I don't know if I did. Oh, there's dang war approaches again. I don't know how much they go for. I don't care. Huh. Interesting. Don't care. I'm selling it. I want to see what happens. I 
I also have this set up. I'm really proud of this one. <clears throat> Getting controller drift finally. The dreaded, <clears throat> dreaded bastard is preventing me from walking down and making me walk up. That are my controllers just fucking dying, which I also don't doubt. <clears throat> hmm. Bah. done here in the house, so uh, if you want to uh, open up your gate so I can come drop by the uh, tapestry, then go ahead and get that started. No! There he is. Ken. Let's just say hi to Ken. The new boy in town. Look at this fucking lad. Oh, Flux. Glad to see you. The Ken Express has arrived on for sale. It's a very messy train that needs to do some unpacking right now, so I'll have to catch you later. Alright. <clears throat> oh, so then you want me to head over right now then? With that whole needing to sleep early bit business. They're still working out up there. Couple chums. I mean, 
there's not much of a schedule change. <clears throat> I was just head I was just hitting rocks until you were ready. Alrighty. I'll just keep looking for bosses in the meantime. While you do your stuff. Oh darn. It's a ladybug. You know, I caught a ladybug. God, I set that up so I can't walk past it. Are you watering my flowers? Well, thank you, Bengal. Money rock, money rock. Here we go with the money rock. Pop, 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 money, 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 money. Get money. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's the other fossil. Right next to my house, actually. Pretty silly that I didn't get it before. Yes. I swear I curse and I scream. sell this. I want to see what it goes for. And then I have these three leftovers, a tire, and take this apple for now. And this ladybug. Oh, and the wharf roach. Two thousand. Okay, so that means that freaking money tree wasn't worth it. Oh, that's good to know. <clears throat> to make sure that I put 10,000 because they drop 10,000 when they grow. <clears throat> you 
let's see. some donations and then hopefully Sora will be ready to have us over <clears throat> oh dear pardon me why hello Flux welcome to the Forsaken Museum how may I be of service okay then let's head on over sorry blathers you are being put on the back burner Let's go, go, go. That would take, like, 20 minutes. <clears throat> Did you want anything from Mabel? You want any of this? since it's the only thing you mentioned. But if you wanted anything else you have until I put the code in. I wanna fly like an eagle. I want to visit someone. Online. Roger, Roger. <clears throat> Actually, I'm good. Why would I want to go to this loser's town? Daleville? More like... Smellville. <laughs> Get destroyed, kiddo. You know? Look, the time is 10.30 p.m. Clear skies and the temperature is comfortable. We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay because this is stored. You can never read fast enough. 
This is a seaplane. Steve Rogers. There he is. The Steve Rogers. Hello, Steve! It's me, your girlfriend from the 1920s. I am making my way slowly over because my poor little little bones can barely move. I don't actually need yellow rose bags anymore because I've got five. Oh jeez. My whole thing is all filled up. Was it 300, 1,000, 1,200, 1,200? That's pretty incredible. Audi 5000. <laughs> I am out of here. Sucker! I told you. And you told me I would pay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. I tricked you. I had you have me come to your town so I could set the bar. You had to place the money down in your property, meaning I could leave it behind. I've thought this through. Hello, Flux. What do your island need of flower? It just so happens to be Hyacinths. They suck! <laughs> yes! I have tricked him once again. For you see, I come from a land down under. A land. Torn asunder, for I am a witch! I don't have. Well, <laughs> I just bought roses off of somebody else, actually. So, in a technical sense, I don't, because I don't have any spares, unfortunately. Oh, I swear that. Butterfly better not get in the way. Alright, cool. There goes the net. Actually, I have Nook Miles to claim. Let's see, hit rocks. Yep, that's the one. Wait, what's this one? Get fossils assessed, that's not gonna be a problem. Wait, what's this one for? Chatting with the residents. Really? Only ten times, huh? I thought I chatted with them like once or twice a day. That's in that's interesting. Or miles just been catching creepy crawlies. Trash tools. A lot of furniture. There it is, the final host the most.
If you want roses that bad, you put your dodo code in, and I'll stop by. And I'll drop some off. Or Sora will, I don't know, either way. Sora could make a million bucks right now. you would have gotten a million bells. Oh dear, pardon me. Do you have a look, do have a look around? No rush, take your time. Ah, but first, how may I assist you? I'd like to assess 12 fossils again. <coughs> oh, more than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Oh, hooray, I have found something that is not yet part of our steam collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Forsaken is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think on what I've said. The museum waits. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'd like to make a donation. Marcus, what would you like to donate? Oh wow, that is sad. Let's do the bugs first just to get his crying out of the way. Eek! A giant water bug! What a wretched thing! Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case. <laughs> How to put this gently? Ah, yes. Beware the giant water bug. I tell you, this vicious predator has been known to attack fish, frogs, and even snakes. Snakes! Truth be told, no one is safe. Its nickname is the Toe Biter. For goodness sakes. Now, one final fact before I faint. The gruesome bug uses its nose to inject its prey with digest juice. To... Uh, oh, well, stop thinking about the unthinkable. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. I'm the little bugs of the bane of my existence. Rest assured, the wretched thing will give the best of care here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Let's make more donations. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? The peacock butterfly. Eek! A peacock butterfly, what a wretched thing! Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Pretty as a peacock. Bah, I say. The wings of the peacock butterfly may have a pattern similar to that of the beautiful bird, but its four wings are also often covered in a dark, velvety hair. You heard right. Hairy wings. A hair raising revelation indeed. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. Uh, and though bugs have been in my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'd like to make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Fossil time. Fossil time. It's time to finish fossils. The Pocky. Oh, who could it be? It is. A Pocky Skull. I never thought I'd lay my eyes upon such a well preserved Pocky Skull. Dear me, might I give a short presentation on the subject? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. 
Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Pachycephalosaurus was, to be blunt, not the brightest star in the dinosaur firmament. What I mean is, with its incredibly thick skull, some ten inches thick in spots, it didn't have much room for, well, for brains. Its brain was likely quite small, but at least it was extremely safe in its bony prison. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find the remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Is there anything else I can help you with? Make another donation. Marvis, what would you like to donate? The Spino Tail. Ooh, 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 could it be? It is a Spino Tail. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved spino tail. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful, this fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ahem, yes, the Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous dinosaur, roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike its more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seemed to have some... Uh, spent a great deal of time in the water. Similar to modern crocodiles, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I am simply relieved that it is, did not seek flying prey. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope you can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Is there anything else I can help you with? Make another donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? I have two. A plesio skull, and then one other thing. Oh, who could it be? It is! A plesio skull! I never thought I'd lay my eyes upon such a well preserved plesio skull. Dear me, but I will give you a short presentation on the topic. I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful! It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ah, I see, yes. The plesiosaurus is a classic of the ancient reptile world. That long, graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump, turtle-like body made for a striking silhouette. Incidentally, despite the saurus name, it wasn't actually a dinosaur. Common error, eh what? But they were surely a majestic sight, swimming in those ancient seas, like a long-necked rubber ducky. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Is there anything else I can help you with? Make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Marvelous. Stegotoso. Oh, who could it be? It is a stegotoso. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved stegotoso. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation of the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? You can't talk about the stegosaurus without talking about the distinctive diamond-shaped plates on its back. These plates, while well, made of bone, were not exactly connected to the animal's skeleton. They simply grew out from the skin, remarkably enough, and were up to two feet tall, and similarly wide. It's not clear exactly how the plates were arranged or what they were for, yet more mysteries of the ancients. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I would gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and displayed in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, oh, I'm good. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. It's a beautiful morning! Alright. <clears throat> uh... Actually, there was two... Freaking... 
Oh. Oh no. I'm getting a phone call. One second. Jesus, what a fucking pain in the ass that guy was. Some dude trying to freaking talk to me about like some health insurance plan, but he wasn't giving me any information, so I'm just like, yeah, this is a fucking scam. He won't give me like a phone number or anything for where he's working for. He's just like mumbling everything. What a dumbass. If he actually works for a company, man, dude, did he fucking lose out. <laughs> Anyway, look at this fucking, it's a goddamn hardcore workout day. Now we got these two going at it. Okay, look at that.
take off my current clothes just to look at it. Oh, look at that little thing. That's pretty neat. So it's a Mylocornmiglia. Do I have one of those that I can get him to just tell me about it? Okay. We gotta keep an eye out for that one. It, oh crap. Flux, oh god, he can't hear me. He has his AirPods in. Yo, Vivian is asking about you. Don't tell Milk. I might get upset. I'm gonna tell Milk so fast. Cranston, you are on a rampage, my man. Actually, I'm gonna put this away. Um. Well, since I don't have the. the Milo, I'm gonna just sell everything. A lot of fossils to sell, so. That's a plus. It's worth a lot. I might even be able to <clears throat> get like a quarter of my debt paid off. I like to do it at hundred thousands at a time. Actually, you know what? Tommy would probably like fossils, right? I like to con Timmy, but Tommy might actually like fossils. He seems like the kind of boy. Here you go. Nothing but fossils. Thirty-three thousand dollars. So. Outski. Right, I was gonna be going inside of here anyway. And then I got sidetracked with the fossils. Tom Nook, my man, I'm sure you're gonna want you're gonna wanna blab my ears off. Bleh. Ah, Flux, hello, hello. Flux, we're getting more inquiries about the campsite you helped build. Yes, yes, my plan to draw visitors easily with the campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism, and I hope the number of island residents. Now, with that positive word-of-mouth marketing about Forsaken will just spread. I admit it, though, this is the most difficult part of our whole venture. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Flux? Dreams do come true. Isabel, Flux, thank you, thank you so much. And more determined than ever. We're not done, Flux, and we're all counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of the project, come ask me, what should I do? Okay, Clay. I'll take it. 
Ah, yes. I have something to tell you, Flux. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors is okay, but maybe you're interested in taking a more proactive approach. If so, you can use a needle to invite guests to the campsite with the new service I've added. You can access the service via the Nook Shop. Uh, Nook Stop. It works with an Animal Crossing character's amiibo. I'm kind of sad that capped at 300. Ah, right there. Neat. Okay, um... Savings balance. It went up! Okay, so there is interest in there. Let's see. Usually it's 98, so I'm just gonna do like... With that 50,000 to even that out. Sounds good. Let's do some milk shopping. KK March. Ooh, those are neat. the recycled boots. Um, redeem. Let's see what we can do with this. Iron fence and a zen fence. I already have the zen fence. I wish there was a like check mark next to the ones you already purchased so you don't just make the mistake of purchasing again. either. I want to go check. Bye-bye. Hey. Alphabetically, okay, yeah. It was just called a lighthouse, right? So it would have been in here. L -l 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 ah, right there. See? Did have it. started the game. I saw this area and I was like, yeah, I want this here. Even though I didn't even know this item was in the game. The 
three. All right next to each other. How could I ignore? Okay. I didn't squirt again, but I found it. No? Then what did I get? Clam and collected. Dig up clams. What's the next one? Rare Prodigy. 200. Oh my god. What song makes you so sad? The current online one? Or the current, uh, time one? One that was in my house. Oh. Manila is my favorite flavor. back after stream or something because it's almost over I'd say just gonna put some stuff away and end it That's crap. What do I need for the net? Just sticks. Do I have any in my inventory? I have three. I need to go get a stick. I neglect getting sticks. Dun, dun. I'm glad that they didn't put that in for every single time you craft. Like, it would have got annoying fast, I'm sure. Six stacks. Now I are down again. Six stacks of what? Fish bait. Dicks out. I literally only look for sticks when I need them. Mm -hmm. 
One more thing. Put this in storage for now. And these two. This one, maybe? Ooh, I kind of like it. Now that's a lot of damage! Ugh. Ah! Stretch! Owned. Hello, Milk. Welcome to stream. Feel free to scroll up the timeline of chat to see all the people who begged for dodo codes or begged me to open up my gate so that they can buy something or something, but then all of a sudden disappeared when I told them to open up their gates. Hmm. It's almost like they just wanted to join my gate. Hmm. 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 Right away. Hey, nice. That's pretty expensive. That's, that's fine, I love it. Those people are a little annoying, but it doesn't stop from the enjoyment of the game. you're willing to open up your gates again for that star thing I'll get more money from you since you are so hell-bent on giving me money <laughs> I 
I'll pay you back in black, Lily. You need to sleep? Okay then. Oh well. No biggie. Uh, I just blanked entirely on what I was about to do. You need sleep. A zebrafish is really expensive, if I remember correctly. Never fucking mind, it was goddamn CJ, but to these people it's like, ah, what, zebrafish? How about zero? Well, that's probably gonna do it for the stream then. Unfortunately. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I hope you all have good days, afternoons, and nights, whatever it is for you. And I will see you next time.